Now let's actually take a look at a couple of your options for, I'm going to cover over free options for uh, music that you can, you can use on your live streams or your YouTube videos, and also uh, a couple paid options as well. And of course, this is all completely up to you. You don't have to use one. one is, I'm not saying one is better than the other. One has more selections than the other. It's just, I'd like to show you guys a, a couple options that are available. So let's go ahead and uh, do, do, go over to this scene here. This is live space. So first off, let's go with the free. Now everyone pretty much has heard of Harris Heller. Uh, he's the, the blonde poster boy of um, happy streaming uh, ending of his videos. But he actually, I'm not going to say that he was the first one to actually do or get DMCA free music available. There were some smaller artists that were providing their music for free use in your live streams and YouTube videos. But what Harris Heller, he kind of made it famous. Or he brought more attention to what was going on, especially he, when he released it. This was at the, the height of Twitch fumbling the ball badly with keeping their um, music or their uh, copyright strike or going through the whole process I just talked about earlier. So he's gone through and there are like what, hundreds of maybe not even probably thousands of tracks that are available that you can use for free. You don't have to give credit. It, it'd be nice if you did, but you don't have to. So you can use these uh, tracks within your live stream, within your YouTube videos, even in commercial products, uh, commercials, uh, video games and stuff like that. So he is pretty much given carte blanche to say, hey, you can use all these tracks whatever way you want. And don't worry about it because I'm not going to copyright strike you because he's also given the sync license and a copyright claim form. He's actually thought of the procedure on how to do this correctly to say, hey, if you even get a copyright strike or claim on your video on YouTube, here is the sync license. Or, and, I give it to you and you can use that as ammunition. Say, no, your, your claim or your strike is invalid. Here is my proof. And you can hand it in YouTube, go through the whole process. Uh, yeah, I know it's a uh, pain in the butt, but it's something that is, you know, you have to go through if you want to say, okay, yeah, I'll fight this. So he's given you so many things. You can download it. Onto your computer, you can use the, the tracks either through Apple Music or Spotify. Um, and also from the site here as well, you can you can play it. You can go to, let's say, the Lo-Fi Music. Uh, you can start as right now. It's got playing right now. Go ahead and uh, pause that. And that's probably one of the famous tracks because you pretty much hear that track almost everywhere. And you... And you content creator, streamer, whoever that watches, you'll obviously recognize a stream beats track pretty much nine times out of 10. So he's got different uh, genres here. You got uh, two Christmas albums. Uh, you got uh, chip tune, drum and bass, hip hop, synth wave rock. And yes, I know some people would say, well, this music is all boring. It's, it's not good. It's like, well, Get your artist and create a uh, tracks that you think are good. Do the legwork. Just don't say, oh, it sucks. Stop that. Do the legwork. If you don't find it, what you're, what you're looking for, get out there and actually get it done yourself. Or find someone who, who can help you to do that. So that's all I got to say about, you know, those type of people. You know who I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Now... Another person who has been in the content creation or the content creator scene is a person called Epos Vox. You're probably seeing a lot of his videos on YouTube, most uh, most notably, where he does a lot of um, like 
reviews, hardware reviews, similar to how uh, Harris Heller started or has been growing their channels. So one of his their initiatives was getting more of like a royalty fro uh, frock, rock music together. So they got rock, metal, and beyond. So let's go ahead and um, open the pit. Uh, doo -doo. Yeah, I don't want to. So uh, I don't want to open up. I have Spotify open, but I didn't want to go this route. But anyways, as you can see, he has a lot of different links. You can listen on to uh, the YouTube. They have YouTube chill wave visual visualizers. Pretty much if you remember back oh, early 90s and 2000s with uh, Winamp, and the best thing about that program, not only does it play great, your great music, but the visualizations that it you can sit there for hours watching the, the lines and it's kind of like an acid trip without actually taking any acid. So these, they got a couple things here. Um, go ahead. And this is more of the chill wave. So like I said, you got rock and all sorts of different music that if you're not liking the lo-fi beats and the music selection from stream beats, definitely check out um, Backing Track by Epos, Epos Vox. So that's another option. And both of those are completely free. You don't have to give accreditation. It would be if, nice if you did, but you don't have to. Now, another option is NCS. NCS, especially on the old tubes of you, is that they offer, as their name implies, no copyright sounds. And you can go ahead, I think, yeah, they do have a, a website you can download this stuff as well. Uh, but all this stuff is, again, copyright free. You can play it wherever and however you would like. Now, I'll get to this at the at a later part, but there is there is a little bit of a danger to this as well. So I'll I'll explain that in a little bit. But this is more of a electronica type music. There's drum and bass, uh, even a little bit of lo-fi, but different kind of type of music that you can choose from. And you know what? You can take all three so far and mix all together in a playlist in Apple Music or even Spotify or. Uh, your Google Play or YouTube and just you know, have fun with it and use it with what you will. Now, what I want to do is actually go to, oh, there's another one. I, I forgot. This was also another free one is a, from a streamer called Bob Duck and Weave. He started up the same thing. This is all during a time where uh, everything was all coming, coming down from uh, Twitch and how they're fumbling and everything. Uh, Bob Duck and Weave decided to create their own free to use music from stream site. And a lot of it is, is, is great music as well. I'm not saying one is better over the other. I like to, I, I pretty much have all of their music in a playlist I play constantly during my uh, gaming streams and during the opening of the, the show here and, and all my other streams, I use a lot of their tracks from all four. Oh, I should say all three. I don't use uh, NCS. But I use stream site because I do, I like the music. I know it's right. It's, it's weird. You can actually enjoy the music that, you know, comes up with these homegrown uh, solutions. So check out and uh, stream site is only available on, I believe, uh, YouTube and Spotify. I want to say it is also included in Apple music, but I could be wrong there. I'll have to dig a little bit deeper on that but let's actually go into some of the f not free but paid options now these are paid options and sometimes you know people eh, a little worry because the pricing on them is around like 15 dollars a month epidemic sound is one I actually will suggest to a lot of people, not just because I do have uh, affiliate code. If you look down below in the player uh, from YouTube and you're watching this after the fact, I do have a link to Epidemic Sound 
for 30 day free trial and also helps out an independent creator, me and you. <laughs> Now, Epidemic Sound, they offer a lot of great music from, um, their, their, their genres are very, are varied. Like you got electronica and dance, you got tracks that are, work more for like a film or a short film or anything like that. They got pop music, hip hop, classical, acoustics, uh, pretty much you name it. And you can also, they also provide sound effects that you can use within your own content. So let's take a look at... Um, let's go to pop. This is a selection of the pop genre. Live your life the I'm only going to play that because I don't have on this account on YouTube, I don't have the license for it. So I'm only going to play that a little bit. <laughs> if there's a two tone waffle one, yeah, no problem. I'll be able to play it. No problem. But again, this is, you can do a uh, 30 day free trial. And all the music in your trial is available to be used. And even after, if you don't want to continue with your uh, with your account on Epidemic Sound, you don't have to worry about it because anything that you produce within that trial is is okay. Anything after and you don't continue, yeah, that's when you become a problem. But if you want to pay yearly, you can get ten dollars a month on it, and it's what one hundred and twenty twenty dollars per year, which you know, it's monetized one channel per platform, uh, unlimited downloads. Yes, you can also download the music. You get access to the sound, uh, Epidemic Sound mobile app, and you can publish anywhere online. So if you look at the monthly, it's only, what, $17.99. So I was off a little bit. I think, yeah, they, they just raised their price not too long ago. So for, so for just under $20, you can have really good music that is... A great thing you know and this is something i use so i i would suggest if you want to look for great music definitely take a look at epidemic sound and again you can use it on twitch youtube uh live space pretty much as it says publish anywhere online so you're covered so let's actually move into another one that i've used in the past uh not this is monster cat I forgot to take that out there. Monster Cat is very similar to Epidemic Sound is that they also have artists that are assigned to their label. It's the same thing with Epidemic. I forgot to mention that. Epidemic is pretty much a, a record label. Same thing with Monster Cat. They have artists that are, assi are assigned to their label that they can use to then sell out to, you know, uh, the streamers and content creators to use within their particular content. It's the same, same thing. Um, you have pretty much, you can use it everywhere. You can uh, let's see if you go to the thing is you also have to pay for it as well. And again, like I said, this is a um, paid version. So they got, this one is cheaper and you can connect, use your YouTube, your Twitch, excuse me, and Twitter channels to gold and protect your content from copyright strikes. They got the same thing with the bass, dance, electronica, uh, electronic, chill, melodic, and pop. And it, this is for $7.49 per month or $75 for a year. So a lot of actual creators use this within their streams. So I'm not sure cat gold. So what do you mean by content creator friendly. Now the thing is they don't have, it's kind of, they do have a lot of artists that you can play, but the thing is like, I'll show, open this up. It offers the gold subscription offers content creators, thousands of songs to use claim free in content. This means that content creators can stream play or the music offered through our service and monster cat will not claim your advertising revenue. Now there is some, there is some artists that you cannot use for live streaming. So what are non-licensable tracks? There are tracks that cannot be used in your content, even with a gold subscription. You can see the list of tracks here, which there's a link to a couple of them. And Monster Cat Gold also has a built-in feature that will allow you to automatically skip tracks that are non-licensable. So you can, of course, log into your account, click on the, the tick box to not include that included music, which it kind of puts the onus as like, well, 
you can pay for a service. Yes, it's cheaper, but there are some tracks that you cannot use, even though you pay for the gold service. So it's kind of like a you know, catch 22, but the amount of tracks that you have access to far outweighs to the ones that you are don't have access to. Now, another service or um, music service that came out pretty much the same same time frame, uh, probably a little bit before, is Pretzel Rocks. Pretzel Rocks came out that they are almost similar to a record label as well. They have artists that are signed to them, and they provide the music to use on your Twitch live streams. And this is the kicker, though. It's your Twitch live streams. You have no problem. Uh, if you want to include YouTube live streams or YouTube content, then what you'll have to do is there is a selection in their player that removes the uh, non-YouTube safe tracks. So you have a lesser amount of music, but you still have some great music that you can listen to. And their pricing is, I want to say, a little confusing at first when you look at it. Because right now I have on screen, it's the... Um, Pretzel Pro, it has 550,000 Twitch safe tracks, 125,000 YouTube safe tracks, 60 curated stations, which is a great thing because you can just go, hey, I want to listen to, what was it? They have like a, oh, it's like a polka station that plays this polka music. Um, and of course, you know, electronic, hip hop, rock type tracks. And uh, you got also 50,000 plus downloadable tracks. So all these services really do have downloadable tracks that you can download and then use elsewhere or within your clips or anything like that. But you have to make sure that what you're downloading is available to be used outside of Twitch. And if it's also a YouTube safe, but it's $25 per month and you get all that. Um, this is a complete library of Twitch safe tracks. I've already gone through stations jam-packed with top quality tracks and much more. Now, there is another, uh, let's see, go back to it. Pretzel, no, I, that's what I just looked at. If we look at premium. Okay, premium is, it's they have it for $5.99 a month. I think what you to get that price, you have to pay the annual price, which is seventy one dollars. I say seventy two dollars a year. So you don't get as much. You get the same amount for Twitch because what they're more geared towards are the Twitch live streamers. That's pretty much it. If you're trying, if you're streaming on any other platform, let's say Live Space, um. I don't believe you'll be able to use pretzel rocks within your stream on live space. I'll have to, again, I'll have to look into it because all they're, they're geared more for is the Twitch side of things. It's unfortunate, but it's just something that you will have to look into depending on what service or the free options, the free options. In this case, if you want to be off Twitch, the free options and epidemic are, your probably go-to situation to look into. Monster Cat and Pretzel Rocks, um, more focused on a Twitch side of the live streaming space. So again, it's kind of confusing how they have their, their, uh, their pricing and they don't really give any kind of differential between what's the difference between pre uh, Pretzel Premium or Pretzel Pro. You're pretty much almost getting the same thing, except on Pro, you can download. So that's the only fact or the only difference I can see is that you can have access to download the tracks. With Premium, you don't have that capability. I wish I had like a nice handy graph that you can see with the side-by-side -side comparisons. Instead of, you know, which plan is best for you? No, well, okay, uh, that doesn't give me any comparison. Now... A lot of this, especially with Munster Cat, actually with Pretzel Rocks, they've worked actually with a lot of uh, independent artists. Uh, they worked actually with Harris Heller, with getting 
their um, the stream beats music into pretzel rocks. So you'll see a lot of uh, similarities between what you can hear on pretzel rocks if you also listen to just stream beats because a lot of his tracks are on there as well. So that's just something that you have to go through and figure out. Um, do I want to go completely free option? Because there is a lot of music that is completely free. And again, there are other artists out there that are lesser known. You just have to, if you know someone that, hey, can I use your music? And they're like, yeah, sure. Here you go. Hey, can I get the, the sync uh, license for it too? Yeah. Here's a paper. So it's not just the four free ones or the three free ones, I should say. You have other options. You got free or paid. So you do have some looking out to do if you want to stay on the legal side of things and not have to worry about your uh, your content being demonetized or all your content that you use someone else's work for. All of a sudden, all the ad rev, if you got that that far, is now instead of going to you, is going to the artists that you don't have permission using their work. So there is that. 